Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Montefusco and I'm a lover of all things when it comes to makeup, fragrance, and beauty. And I have a super exciting video here for you all today. So I ordered a bunch of samples from Louis Cobalt Designs April Fool's collection that came out, I believe at the beginning of this month. And a lot of these just sound like really awesome gourmand dessert inspired fragrances. And if you all know me, if you've been on this channel a bunch, you know gourmands are totally my thing. So I've tried a few fragrances from this Indie Fragrance House before. Um, they've been okay, they've been good, but nothing has really like super piqued my interest. But when I saw the explanations of these fragrances, what desserts they're inspired by, all of that, I knew I had to try them. I was super intrigued. And yeah, so there's a bunch of just like really yummy sounding fragrances to try today. So if you want to hear my first impressions on these, hear my honest thoughts, all of that, then please keep on watching. All right, so the first fragrance I'm going to try today is called Horn Swaggle, Swaggle, and it is inspired by an apple fritter. So I have the notes on my old cell phone right here. And so the explanation says the warm simplicity of slow baked apple, deep fried dough and spiced brown sugar glaze. So this sounds absolutely delicious. Um, a lot of apple fragrances I have found though, lean more towards like a candle and not so much like the true dessert that it's trying to emulate or like a fragrance. Um, so I'm really hoping this is not a candle leaning like apple kind of fragrance, but more of like an actual dessert leaning apple kind of fragrance. I haven't smelled one that doesn't smell like a candle, like a Yankee candle. So I'm gonna give this a try, give it my first impression. We'll see what I think. This smells good. So I'm definitely getting apple. I'm getting some sort of like buttery pastry. Of course, I'm getting like spices like cinnamon. I'm definitely willing to try this on my skin. So I do think it smells nice on paper, but what I've realized is these apple kind of scents, they may smell really nice on paper and a lot of them do, but as soon as you put it on your skin, it's like Yankee Candle bomb. <laughs> so I'm hoping this one's not like that, but it does smell really pleasant. Like it's definitely like a crisp, sweet apple. Yeah, you smell everything that it's telling you. So I think this one's pretty good thus far, but of course all the fragrances that I try on my skin, I will be covering and give you all a review of them during my monthly review roundup. So like I said, this is first impressions, but if you want to hear more thoughts, probably during my April or May monthly review roundup is when you'll hear about these. All right, so next I have Des Bobards, which is supposed to be like an almond croissant kind of fragrance. So this explanation says the crown jewel of patisserie, the perfect harmony of savory and sweet, Weightless layers of warm buttery bread embraced in an impeccable almond frangipani. So that sounds lovely. I love a good almond note in my fragrances. I've been really intrigued to find like bread scents, like scents that have that like yeasty bread quality to them, but aren't like savory. That's something I've been really interested in exploring. So this sounds like it'll be up my alley. Let's give it a try. Wow. This smells like almond extract with a little bit of like bread. Yeah, I, I get that. There is like a yeasty quality to this that I do like. This smells really good. <laughs> if you hate a sweet almond, because I feel like almond can fall into one of two camps. It can either be sweet almond or like powdery almond. This to me is very sweet almond. So if you hate sweet almond, you're not gonna like this. But if you love a sweet almond and you want a hint of that like bread kind of scent to it. I think you would like this. Again, I'll try this one on my skin. I really do like this. This one I smell automatically and I was like, yes, I definitely need to try that one. The last one I was like, I don't really know if, if it's going to go, you know, well with my skin chemistry, but this one I could see working really well. Yeah, this one smells amazing. I really, really like this one. So Dix Bobards, if you like a sweet almond croissant pastry kind of deal, I think you'd like this. So next up we have Tall Tales, and this is a carrot cake inspired fragrance. So the explanation says, the ridiculously authentic scent of homemade carrot cake spiced with nutmeg and ginger, dotted with rum soaked raisins and crowned with decadent cream cheese frosting. So again, 
that sounds lovely. <laughs> I I like carrot cake. Like I don't really eat it much, but I think it's okay. Um, I like the smell of it more than I like the taste, which is why I was intrigued by this. I have tried one previous carrot cake scent. I forget from what indie fragrance house it was from. Um, and I was not a fan. Something in that one to me smelled like grassy and like the raisins I wasn't a fan of. So the raisin note in here I'm a little bit worried about, but we'll, we'll see what I think. Whoa. That is hyper realistic carrot cake smell to me. I don't smell raisins, thank God. <laughs> so I do not like eating raisins. I don't like the smell of raisins. I think raisins are kind of gross. But to me, this smells like a spiced cake with a cream cheese frosting. That is 100% what I'm getting here. I think this scent would be really lovely for like fall and winter time. I'm not sure about spring and summer, but this smells really, really good. I also wanna try this one. Wow, are these all gonna be hits? Like, is this gonna be the first time I do a fragrance first impressions and I love everything? Like that could be kind of interesting. <laughs> Yeah, this is lovely. I really like this. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try this on my skin. If you like the idea of a spice cake cream cheese touch to it, I think you'd like that one too. So next up we have Fibbing, which is a coconut cream pie inspired fragrance. So the explanation says a luxuriant confection, confection of tender coconut baked in rich vanilla custard with a toasted almond crust. Like these explanations, don't they just make you hungry? Like I'm, I'm getting starving. Like I just want to eat all of these. <laughs> oh man, I, I love dessert. I have such a sweet tooth. So all of these are making me hungry. But anyways, I love coconut notes in my perfumes, especially sweet coconut fragrances. I'm not a fan of like powdery coconut, but I love a good sweet coconut. Um, again, I love almond. I love vanilla. I love gourmands. Like how, how could any of these like, not work you know so let's try it out oh my god <laughs> this smells so good wow it's i don't really get like a sweet coconut i'm almost getting something like toasted like a, a vanilla pie with like a toasted like meringue on top it's almost what i'm getting here there's something like flambe to this which i like Okay, the coconut's coming out a bit more, but it's definitely a toasted coconut to me. I definitely smell vanilla. It smells sweet. It smells like a dessert, you know? What more can you want? <laughs> I also really like this one too. Wow. Am I going to try all of these? Mm, this is really good. Oh man. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I also really, really like that one. Man, these might all be hits. <laughs> Next up, we have Balderdash, which is inspired by Cherry's Jubilee. So this one says, an ebullient scent to lift your mood when the bastard's trying to get you down. That's funny. Jewel bright Montmorency cherries poached in brandy and drizzled while warm over vanilla ice cream. I love a good cherry fragrance. Like I own Tom Ford Lost Cherry in my collection. That's a very cherry liqueur kind of scent. I've tried um, Bodacia the Victorious Bodacious before. That's a lovely cherry scent, but because I own Lost Cherry, I didn't think it was worth it for me to buy that, but I would have bought that one if I didn't own Lost Cherry. But anyways, I love a good cherry scent. I would love to find a cherry scent that lasts longer than Lost Cherry. Um, so maybe this will be it. So let's give it a try. Hmm, this might be the first one I don't like. This cherry note, isn't cherry liqueur. This cherry note is like cherry cough syrup. <laughs> and it's a fine line between like yummy cherry and like bleh cherry. And this, this to me, this to me smells like um, those Luden's cherry cough drops that I used to have when I was a kid. Those taste delicious. Like I, I enjoyed those, they're like candy. But I don't wanna smell like that <laughs> because that reminds me of when I was sick, you know? Yeah, that cherry note is just too medicinal for me. So for that reason, Balderdash is simply not for me. So this is the first one that didn't work out. This is not going to be a 100% hit rate. But so far, I mean, a lot of these have been hits. So next up, we have Bamboozle. 
And this is inspired by baklava, which is a dessert that I absolutely adore and would love to smell like. <laughs> so this explanation says a sweet scent for hope and optimism, diaphanous layers of flaky golden pastry, toasted pistachio, roasted chestnut, crushed almond, and a generous drizzle of spring harvest honey. That sounds lovely. And I actually currently have a scent called cinnamon baklava. And I forget the brand that that's by, but it's a lovely fragrance. But to me, that smells not like baklava, but it almost smells like a cinnamon cake. And I'm hoping this might be a more authentic like baklava scent. So I don't feel like I already own this in my collection. Mm, I don't know if this is authentic to me. You get a lot of pistachio in there. That's definitely noticeable. I'm mostly just getting pistachio and like a general like sweetness, which may just be like vanilla. Okay, the honey's coming out now. Yeah, I don't know if I love this one. This one's okay. I don't think I would wear it. You have to really like pistachio, you have to really like honey in your fragrances in order to wear this. I was hoping to get more of the like nuances that come with baklava, like the flaky pastry, um, and like the, what was it, chestnuts or walnuts? Chestnut. And the almond. I'm not getting any almond in here either. Yeah, this one's okay. Bamboozle, I don't think it's for me, but I don't hate it. Um, it's just not something that I really want to try. Next one, we have Humbuggery. <laughs> and this is inspired by pineapple upside down cake, which I absolutely love. Pineapples, amazing. Cake, amazing. Combine together, amazing, you know? <laughs> So the explanation says an uplifting scent to keep you impervious to deception and shielded from malice, a delicious, delicious juxtaposition, that's hard to say, of tang and sweetness. That's what I love about pineapple upside down cake. Caramelized pineapple, coconut cream, toasted hazelnut cream, and baked brown sugar. Again, how can you go wrong with that? Like based on that description, that just sounds perfect to me. And I've never tried like a pineapple upside down cake inspired fragrance before. So this is a first for me. Mm-mm, no. No, 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 no. The pineapple, there's something very artificial about it that I don't like. I, I think what I'm discovering here is that I don't like Louis Cobalt's like fruit notes. I feel like they smell very artificial. And this to me smells very artificial pineapple. Yeah, that's all I'm getting. I'm not getting the flambe like, what, what did it say? I'm not getting coconut cream. I'm not getting toasted hazelnut crust. I'm not getting baked brown sugar. All I'm getting is artificial pineapple smell. I'm not a fan of that. No, 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 no. I don't like that one either. Next up, we have Kazate, 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 Kazate. I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is inspired by tiramisu. So it says, the beloved Italian classic golden vanilla lady fingers infused with espresso, marsala wine, then layered with sweet mascarpone and finished with a fine dusting of cocoa. Oh, I love tiramisu. <laughs> so I'm hoping again, this smells like the dessert and it's not too like artificial smelling, you know? So let's give it a try. I've had this problem a lot with fragrances. There is a chocolate or cocoa note that I notice a lot in both indie perfumery designer perfumery, even niche perfumery, where the chocolate or cocoa note smells very artificial, almost like a Tootsie Roll. And I really don't like that. I want my chocolate to be like some like semi-sweet chocolate or bittersweet chocolate or dark chocolate. I want a rich like chocolate smell. I don't want to smell like a Tootsie Roll. And I'm getting that same Tootsie Roll vibe here. And I'm just not a fan. So for that reason, Kazate, Kazate, however you pronounce it, this tiramisu fragrance, again, it's not for me. So next up I have Hokum, which is a blueberry cobbler fragrance. And I believe this is the last fragrance I have from Louis Cobalt. It is from their April Fool's collection. They did include a free sample and I don't know what it is, so we'll give it a try. Um, but this is the last one from the April Fool's collection. So this is inspired by Blueberry Cobbler. And this was in their last chance section, so I'm not even sure if this is available anymore. But this says, the welcome simplicity of garden-grown blueberries baked under oatmeal cinnamon streusel. So based on the other fruit notes that I've smelled today from Louis Cobalt, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this one, but we'll give it a try. 
No. No, 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 no. So, it's so artificial to me. Like, if you've ever smelled a candle that has like, it's supposed to smell like a blueberry pie or something, that's what this smells like to me. This smells like Yankee Candle. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, or maybe least, I don't know, I didn't order this one. This was a free sample. We have Emerald Velvet. So I've never heard of this one from the brand, but it, here's the explanation. A regal perfume for your most special celebrations. Douglas fir, white sandalwood, heliotrope, pale amber, sweet oud, and a trace of brisk green cardamom. To me, this sounds very unisex. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this one because it doesn't sound very sweet. It sounds very woody. Um, and I'm not really a woody scent kind of person, but we'll, we'll give it a try. You know, I got a free sample, might as well try it. No, <laughs> no. If you wanna smell like a forest, this is for you. This almost reminds me of like pine needles. Yeah, no. Um, I think this would be fine on a man. Again, I think it's just too masculine for me. So for that reason, I'm not really a fan of this, but I appreciate the free sample. So yeah. So that is it for today's video. Overall, 40% um, hit rate. So um, I tried 10 fragrances today. I liked four. And the four I liked that I'm gonna try on my skin and then review for you all either my April or May monthly review roundup is Fibbing, which is coconut cream pie, Tall Tales, which is carrot cake, Des Bobards, which is almond croissant, and Horn Swoggle, which is apple fritter. So those are the four I'm gonna try. I really enjoyed those. The other ones, they ranged from, it's okay, just not for me, to, ooh, no, I do not like that one at all. So yeah, overall, I feel like Nui Cobalt does have really good gourmands, um, personally, I'm not a fan of their gourmands that have a fruit note in it because I feel like it smells very artificial. But other than that, yeah, I do think that their gourmands are pretty good. I had tr previously tried Malarkey, which is from a previous April Fool's collection of theirs, and I did like it. It's a bread pudding inspired fragrance, but there was something a little bit too buttery about it that I just was not a fan of. But overall, that one was pretty good too. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please like the video. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it also helps me know what kinds of content that you like to see on my channel. If you like me, please subscribe. I'd love to have you all here. I post two to three times per week. And if you have anything to comment down below, any fragrance recommendations, any thoughts on any of these fragrances, whatever you wanna chat about, let me know. I'd love to have a conversation with you all. And that is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and spending part of your day with me. And I will see you all next time. Bye.